Hi guys, welcome to Code Bashers. Guys, we have started our Java for interview series. Many of you were requesting us that guys, sir, make the videos of questions which are most commonly asked in the Java interviews. So here we are with this series. In this first part, we will be discussing the most commonly asked question that is, what is the difference between interface and abstract class? So guys, make sure that you watch this video till the end. I will be telling you the difference between both of these entities and I will be showing you by doing code also that what is the major difference between these two things. Okay, so make sure that you are watching this video till the end. Guys, previously also lot of videos regarding interviews, regarding the questions asked in different companies I have made on my channel. So make sure that you are hitting the subscribe button because more such videos will continue to come in future. And guys, I am making the dedicated playlist for Java for interview questions. So make sure to watch that playlist. The link you will find in the description box. So guys, now let's start this video. And before starting the video, please hit that like button as well as the subscribe button for this channel. Guys, before moving forward, let's just quickly talk about the Next Level by An Academy. It is India's gaming based hiring platform. Next Level has come up with a new product that is an AI powered resume builder. Next Level's Resume Builder utilizes cutting-edge AI technology to help you create a polished, professional-looking resume in just minutes. It's easy to use and you can customize the resume for a wide range of professions and job titles. Like you can see on screen, you can simply click on simple prompts and the resume will get auto-fill. Okay? Trust me, it's that easy. No more spending hours trying to figure out the right words to use for the perfect format to follow. Next Level's Resume Builder gives you the edge over the other applicants. You can fill this resume automatically within 3-5 to five minutes. For example, if you are a business development professional who is also open to relation roles, you can create both resume by just entering a single prompt. It's very easy. So if you are looking for a platform to help you building the world class resume and land your dream job, then Next Level is for you. And guys, remember one thing that this Resume Builder will only work on the laptop or desktop. The links are given in the description box. Go and check your, for yourself. Okay, so guys, let's just start with the differences first and then we will be moving towards the coding part of these both abstract class and interface. Okay, so let's just see the difference. So abstract class can have abstract as well as non-abstract methods, whereas interface can only have abstract methods. So I hope now, uh, I hope that you know what are abstract methods and non-abstract methods. Abstract methods are those methods in which only the method is declared and the body of that method, method is not given. Okay, those are the abstract methods. Whereas the non-abstract methods are the normal method in which that method is declared also and the body of that method is also given. Okay, in abstract methods, the body is not given and when we try to extend any abstract class, then the body of those methods are given in the child class. So I hope now the difference between abstract and non-abstract methods are clear to you and the difference between abstract class and interface is also clear to you. Now next is abstract abstract class doesn't support multiple inheritance and interface supports multiple inheritance. So guys the interface were made only to support this feature as we know that in Java multiple inheritance is not possible but multiple inheritance is not possible in the cases of classes. Abstract class is just a normal class just that some of the methods in the abstract class are declared as abstract whereas in interface all the methods are abstract so therefore if any interface will be implemented all the method body will be given in the child class that is, that is implementing that interface so therefore interface can support multiple inheritance i hope this difference is also clear to you as i have told you like abstract class is just a just like a normal class only given that some of the methods are abstract okay so let's just read our next difference abstract class can have final non-final static and non-static variables again just like the normal class abstract class can also have final non-final static and non-static variables whereas interface can only have static and final variables okay only static and static and final variables are possible in interface this is also a major difference between these two classes okay next difference is that Abstract class can provide the implementation of interface whereas interface can't provide the implementation of abstract class. So as again, I have told you abstract class is just a normal class. Therefore, if uh, therefore a normal class can implement an interface, therefore abstract, therefore abstract class can also implement an interface. But 
interface cannot implement the abstract class because uh, the the classes which are implementing interface must give the body of each and every method that are there in the interface so therefore vice versa is not possible a class can implement interface but interface cannot implement a abstract class okay i hope this difference is also clear to you next is abstract class is uh, uses abstract keyword whereas interface uses interface keyword so this is a very basic difference next difference is that an abstract class can extend another java class and implement multiple java interfaces so guys as we all know since multiple inheritance is not possible in classes in java therefore a class a normal class can extend only one class and can implement multiple interfaces okay so again i am telling you a normal class like an abstract class can extend only one java class and can implement multiple in interfaces so this sixth point i am telling whereas an interface can extend another java interface only so a class can extend another class also one another, one another class when one another class and multiple interfaces whereas interfaces can extend only other interfaces only it cannot extend other classes so i hope now this difference is also clear to you next is an abstract class can be extended using keyword extend so again whenever we are doing inheritance in a class we use extend keyword okay next is the interface the interface can be implemented using keyword implements so guys there will be a class that will be implementing an interface so therefore an implements keyword will be used for that interface for that inheritance to take place okay last difference is that a java abstract class can have class members like private protected etc as i have to told you the abstract class are the normal classes therefore it can have all type of all type of class members like private also it can have protected also it can have and public also it can have whereas interface can only have public interfaces or oh, public members members of java interface are public by default this is also a major difference between interface and abstract class so guys these were the major differences between these two entities of interface and abstract class now let's just see with the help of code what is the coding difference between these two these two entities okay so now let's just move towards the ide okay so guys now let's just see the difference between interface and abstract class using code so first of all let's just see an interface so this is how an interface is declared with the help of interface keyword and then the name and then the body of the interface you can see here we can only declare the functions inside the interface and cannot give the body of those functions and uh, you uh, see here we have given void name and void number of players so these two functions are both public by default okay they are public by default and we have also declared a variable inside interface that uh, that variable is static as well as final by default inside the interface now we have seen what is an interface now now see this interface it has to be implemented by a class to use this interface it has to be implemented by a class so let's just say we have a class named play and now since it is an sports is an interface therefore it will be implemented it, it here it is written class play implements sports okay then uh, inside this class play which is implementing sports we will have to implement both of these methods which were only declared in the sports class okay so here you can see that we have implemented both of these method public void name system dot out dot print and cricket and public void number of players system dot out dot print and 11 so this is how we have implemented these sports now guys one thing to note here is that since the elements or uh, since the functions that are declared here they are by default public but the functions that have been implemented here they are not by default public they are by default a def has a default modifier so now if you will run the code like this it will give you an error so you will have to spe specifically mention that these are public void mean then only this implementation will be taken into account otherwise it will give an error okay so i hope now this thing is clear to you now we have made a class that is implementing this sports class let's just now see uh, let, now let's just make the object of this play class and let's just use the function names okay so here we have made the made this uh, object of the play class and we are calling play dot name and play dot number of players these both were declared in the interface but have been implemented in the play class and next we are simply inputting the uh, we are simply printing the value of that a variable that has been declared inside the interface and that is static by nature 
So let's just run this particular code. It will run perfectly fine. Let's just see by running it. Uh, till now, if you are not subscribed to the channel, till now, please subscribe it and do hit that subscribe button. It gives me immense confidence in making such videos. So if you will see, you can see the output. It is giving no error and it is printing. Now one more thing we can try that will give us the error. I have told you that this A variable is uh, is final by default. So if we try to do this sports A equal to 12, now it will give an error. It will say that you are trying to modify the uh, final variable. Let's just see. So you can see that error has come. So guys, this was the uh, interface and we have seen that a class needs to implement an interface. So now let's just quickly see what is the abstract class. Okay, so guys, now let's just see for the abstract class. First of all, the difference is that here you will have to give a keyword as abstract before declaring a class. Then inside these, you can define methods and variables on your own. But remember, as I've told you the difference that here, the methods, the abstract class are just like the normal class just one or two methods are abstract here that means that the functions or me uh, or members that you will define are by default have a default access specifier okay and the methods that you are declaring as abstract you will have to give the abstract keyword before them or else they will throw an error okay uh, so now let's just see a class that is extending the sports class why it is extending because i have told you that abstract class are similar to these normal classes only so therefore in inheritance there will be an extend keyword that will be that will be used so class play is extending sport and here we are giving the implementation of the name method that we have declared in the sports class that is void name so let's just now make a method of play as we have done in interface it is simple so we are giving play play equal to new play here we are creating the object we are simply calling play dot name play dot num of players there in interface you will remember that we have called this x variable with the help of the class name or with the help of the interface name because we know that in interfaces and all the variables are declared as static or as static and final and static variables can be uh, used with the help of their class names okay but here the variable that x that has been declared in this abstract class it is by default has a default scope so therefore we are using the objects name to call this particular variable to access this particular variable and we can also change the name or change the value of this variable as we were not able to do in the interfaces so i hope now the differences are all clear to you with the help of theoretical point of view as well as with the point of coding so let's just run it let's just see if it runs fine or not according to me it will run fine so here you can see that it is running perfectly fine so I hope now the difference is clear to you. So guys, this was it for this video. Kindly hit that like and subscribe button because more such videos regarding Java interview questions will be coming in future. Thank you for watching this video.